Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Terrapin Ridge Farms. We have the Apple Maple Bacon Jam. And I have a pineapple habanero dip and a roasted garlic uh, horseradish dip. Michael sent us all of these. They were, it says $6.99 a piece on the lid. We do have Terrapin Ridge in our area. Uh, I, I know for a fact I've seen it at uh, the Fresh Market, but I don't know where. I know we saw it at, when we went to Jungle Gems International Market in Ohio, uh, but I couldn't tell you right offhand where else has it. I just know I remember seeing it right. at the Fresh Market. So we, um, this is a cheese topper or glaze, but of course it's jam, so you can also use it on toast. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we, uh, when Michael has sent us these Terrapin Ridge uh, jams in the past, uh, this is how we've used it. It, um, these are made in Clearwater, Florida. It's www.terrapinridge.com. It says, 17 servings are in the container, one tablespoon, 18 grams is 45 calories. And the reason we're trying it on toast is because honestly, this is how I would eat it. So, well, this is how I think I would eat it, mm -hmm. but until you get a taste of it, right, you right. really don't know. <coughs> There's many times that Kevin and I try something and we're like, oh, this would be good with right. whatever. And it, I do smell uh, the the uh, oh, yeah, bacon. Oh yeah, it's very smoky. Yeah, and apple, maple, yeah. apple, ma maple bacon. It's mostly the bacon though. Yes. Hmm. Apple puree, concentrate, apple juice concentrate. Bacon, unsalted butter, salt, natural smoke flavor. It tastes like bacon. And it tastes uh -huh. like a little bit of that. It tastes like candied bacon. So you've ever had bacon that's got the sugar on it? Mm -hmm. it kind of has that kind of flavor. Right. So it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. It is sweet, but it does have a smokiness to it. So, they're saying cheese topper or glaze. I can't, what would cheese, I don't know, I understand what cheese topper is. I think. Like, a, you put a block of cream cheese on a plate, you put it on top of it, you dip it? That's what I'm wondering, are they, are they meaning cream cheese? Because we have had cream cheese that mm -hmm. way. We had cream cheese with like a pepper jelly on top. Yes, and it was excellent. Yeah. So, maybe. And you, and you get this... crackers and spread it. Uh-huh. So that's what I'm thinking when mm -hmm. they say cream or cheese topper. I'm thinking of like a cream cheese, right? Like a dip. But I think that would be good on a, a pork chop as a glaze or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, it does say glaze. So. Mm -hmm. Honestly, or ham. Um, That'd be good. I know. Ham. I thought ham, ham. That's what I thought when I first had it was the ham. Mm -hmm. Like we make that canned ham. Yeah, it would just make a mm -hmm. smokiness to it. This is. It, you absolutely could have it on toast. Yeah, it's not something I'd want to eat in the morning all the time, though. That's what I'm thinking. It's not that it's bad on toast. It's just that it's such a strong flavor mm -hmm. that, well, I don't know. You have bacon. You have sausage. Yeah, those but are pretty it, strong. Yeah, those are pretty strong. Eggs. But <laughs> Yeah, so honestly, it's like you're eating, you're getting the bacon flavor, yeah. but without, without eating the bacon. It's just very sweet and bacony. So it'd be almost like pancakes and bacon instead of... Yes. Just, yeah, like because so it has that maple. And the savory, yeah, because yeah, it has the maple. So yeah, no, I agree. It's good. It's not bad on toast, but I do think it would be great on ham or pork chops. Yeah, yeah, any kind of like a meat glaze. Okay, now these dips <clears throat> sound very interesting. Pineapple habanero dip, fat-free, gluten-free, vegan. Uh, two uh, tablespoons, thirty-five grams is sixty calories, and there are ten servings in here. It has sugar, pineapple, apple cider vinegar, water, onion, tapioca starch, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, habanero peppers, ginger, lemon juice concentrate, and natural flavor. Sounds like a lot of peppers. But it sounds very uh, clean ingredients. It doesn't look like a dip. It doesn't look like a dip. Because so, when it says dip, we're thinking chip dip. Okay, this That's, is... Which is what we're going to do. You yeah, do, we, but, we brought potato chips to the table because it said dip. I wonder if we could put that on the toast. Is it too runny? 
It's too runny. Okay. It would run right off. So it'd probably be a better glaze just from looking at it um, than, uh, than a dip. But we're gonna yes. try it with chips. <laughs> uh, because it said, yeah, it said dip. We literally brought potato chips. You see, I spilled some right there. Yeah. Um, if I had known how thin this was, maybe a chicken dip. Okay, this is saying. Uh, the sweet and caramelized taste of pineapple is combined with red and green bell peppers, onions, and fiery habaneros mixed with cream cheese for an incredible dip or served with tortilla chips right out of the jar. Okay. Terrific on a turkey burger or mixed in chicken salad. The, Refrigerate the chips are after opening. The so, chips work fine. Yeah, it's saying you could put tortilla chips without adding anything. So, okay. I would not recommend really scooping. Oh, so it's, it's hot. <laughs> well, habaneros don't usually bother me that much. That's hot. But it also had, had uh, jalapenos. It had like three different kinds of peppers in it. Oh, I didn't. Or, I thought you said habaneros said, I said, jalapenos. I said red bell pepper. I said green bell pepper. Uh -huh. A red bell pepper. Habanero peppers. No, I didn't say jalapeno. Oh, I thought you said jalapeno. I don't know why I was thinking that. Mm -mm. No, red bell pepper, okay. green bell pepper. Um, it's hot. It is hot, uh -huh. but I do like the flavor of it. I like the flavor a lot, quite a bit. And I like the flavor of it mixed with the greasy Lay's potato chip. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, and I could see that being good on a corn tortilla, like a really strong corn flavor. Yes, but just know that it is very runny. Mm -hmm. So you, when they're calling it a dip for me that's almost a glaze i mean that's yeah. runnier than the the one before it right you know yeah you can almost put that on top of a cream cheese block too which is i think what you said you could do they anyway. said mix it with mix cream it cheese. With it. yeah you yeah can mix so it. there's they're saying put cream cheese and and then mix it in we bought something else like that from william sonoma mm -hmm. where we mixed it like that and um it was really tasty and i can it imagine thickens it up too Yes, and I can imagine that would uh, tamper down some of that uh, habanero means. flavor, uh, but I, I like it. I think I would like it um, just as well with the cream cheese, though. Yeah, but just know, my, like my, the tip of my, the, my whole tongue was tingly. Mine's on the side. The tip of my tongue is still tingly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> so it, it does have some heat, <coughs> but I think it's delicious. I it actually like it. it more than the... Bacon. I, I don't it's like. It's different. I like the flavor, but I don't like the heat as much. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm not. I'm, I don't really like hot food. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind warm food, but I don't like really hot food. Now, this is something that I'm not expecting to, oh, to be bad. crazy about because this is horseradish. Uh, that's right. Horseradish wasabi. Whatever. Same thing. Uh, this, <laughs> it's not the same thing. I'm just kidding. This is roasted garlic mm. horseradish dip. It is a. Two tablespoons is 160 calories. So this wow. is not low calorie at all. Um, it has soybean oil, water, corn syrup, vinegar, egg yolks, modified cornstarch, horseradish, salt, artificial flavoring. Like There's all kinds of other words in here. Dried garlic spices. Kevin does like horseradish. <laughs> What's funny is, it, I mean, it's 100% horseradish, but um, you get that garlic too. There's all, quite a bit of garlic there. You know what? I have to say, I like this more than any horseradish I've ever had yeah. before. Like the Arby's horsey sauce and stuff like that, this is better. Arby's horsey sauce is so, so strong. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's just uh, such a high amount of, I guess, vinegar that the horseradish it just it's killing <laughs> it kills me yeah i think it's just the horseradish this has a it's a creamy mm -hmm. garlic flavor yeah and you need to like garlic because it is a lot of garlic mm -hmm. uh but that is my favorite horseradish and i'm not a horseradish person but i absolutely could have that and you could that would be great on a sandwich yeah, oh yeah, that would be excellent with roast beef like Arby's does. Yes. Um, that would be really good mm -hmm. with, the, with the sandwich of some kind. Even a ham sandwich or whatever. That would mm -hmm. be a good spread on a piece of bread. That's my favorite one here. Uh, I'm it's shocked. It's probably mine too. Because I, I'm just not that horseradish person. Like Kevin and Andrew have tried horseradish chips. And I've had horseradish chips. 
and um, it's just never my thing. But usually too strong. Yes. That one's right. strong, but it's it also got is. the garlic to help out. But the out, garlic so. is the garlic. It's garlic strong, and yeah. it's it's garlic. It's a creamy garlic, and yeah. so that is my favorite. So don't eat that at lunch at work. Oh, <laughs> and then go no, to no. a big meeting afterwards. <laughs> No, you're going to be tasting this when you go to bed. Yeah, <laughs> it's I'll, be I'll be tasting this all day long, I just after having that little bitty bit. Um, but I like it quite a bit. It's very good. So that would be my number one. The habanero, uh, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, habanero would be number two. And then my third one, not that it's bad at all, is just the maple bacon, because I like it too. It's just more of a regular flavor to yeah, me. Yeah, I think I would just switch the habanero and the bacon. Yeah, I like that spiciness. I'm thinking that I would mix it with um, a block of cream cheese. Yeah, I'd make a dip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be the best. I think that'd be the best way to eat it. Yeah, so. it would cut out some of the heat. Mm -hmm. So, Michael, thank you very much for sending us these. Yeah, we appreciate greatly it. appreciate it. If anybody's had these, you'll have to let us know your thoughts. Do you like that horseradish? So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.